Hey everybody! In today's video I will show you how to use Tailwind CSS with Node, Pug and Express. This video assumes basic knowledge in all these technologies. So let's jump straight in. The first thing we have to do is to create an empty folder for our project, Tailwind Node. After that we have to go into that directory and initialize our node project. So let's cd into this project and then initialize the node project. We do so by running npm init with the flag y. npm init y. Why did we do that? If we want to initialize the package.json file with the default values, we can use the y flag and it will auto-generate the package.json file. Now the next step is to open the project in our favorite code editor. In my case, it's VS Code. Code and dot. Running this command will open the current working directory. Like I said previously, for this tutorial we are going to use Express, which is a very very popular web framework. So let's install that by running npm install express in our terminal. You can see that it added it as a dependency. The next step is to create the index.js file. We can create the file from the terminal as follows. Touch index.js now let's open it. The first thing we have to do in this file is to import the express module. We can do that as follows. const express require express. However, we need to do one more thing. We have to create an app constant and then call express. Now we are ready to build our routes. So what's a route. For example, when you go to about me page, you hit an endpoint. For example, catalins.tech slash about. In Node, that will translate something as follows. App get, because it's a get request, about. And then when the user hits this endpoint, we respond with a file or with HTML. However, for now we set up the home page which is simply slash. Then we add request and response and then when the user hits this endpoint we present the user with response send it works. So whenever the user access our home page it will see this text saying it works. Now let's listen to a port. So we can do that by writing app.listen and we use port 3000 console.log the application is listening on port 3000. Now we save it and we can run the application. We can do so by running node index.js localhost 3000 and we see that it works. Ta-da! we have a very simple web server in Node.js. The next thing is to add pug which is a template engine. We add pug by running npm install pug. After we install pug we have to create the folders and file where our frontend lives. Usually in Node.js application we have the frontend part in the views folder. So let's create the views folder. mkdir views. Inside the views folder we want to create the file that will be rendered when the user visits our home page. So let's create the index.pug. Touch views index.pug and here we have the file. Now let's add the code. If you use the Emmet plugin there is a shortcut which you can use to fill your file with HTML. So let's do that. Doc type HTML and you can see it we have it here. HTML file. Let me remove this and write HTML. Let's add an H1. And for the title let's use my application and let's create a paragraph saying this is my simple application. However, we are still not ready to see this when we access our home page. We will still see the text saying it works. So what we have to do is to write res.render index. But we are still not going to see it. Can you guess why? We are still not going to see the newly created HTML because we didn't set the template engine. To do that we use the app constant and we 
set the views to pet dot join their name and views and after that we have to set the view engine to pug app set view view engine pug and lastly we have to set the static folder for our static files like css images and so on so let's set that as well let's set express static pet dot join their their name public and now we should see our new file let's run our application and see what happens node index.js pet is not defined so i actually forgot to import pet const pet require pet pet is a core module from node.js you don't have to install it let's try to run the application again and ta -da, it works so far so good we have a simple web server with express and pug and now the tricky part comes in we have to add tailwind css to our simple application to use tailwind css we have to add a few modules besides tailwind first of all tailwind css is a post css plugin so we have to add post css an auto prefixer you might ask what is auto prefixer auto prefixer is another post css plugin that helps us with prefixing css and what does that mean it means that it adds prefixes to our css so it works in older browsers as well so let's install all these packages npm install tailwind css auto prefixer post css and post css cli now the first thing after installing all these packages is to initialize tailwind so let's do that by running npx tailwind css init and this command creates the new file tailwind.config.js we don't touch this file we use this file when we want to add plugins to tailwind css or when we want to extend it if you want to see more about this file i recommend you to check the tailwind css documentation so far so good the next step is to create the post css file let's do that as follows touch post css config .js. here we have to edit tailwind and auto prefixer plugin so let's write module export plugins require tailwind css require auto prefixer and we are almost there we can almost use tailwind css the last thing we have to do in this project is to create the css files we have to create a styles.css file and a tailwind.css file so let's do that let's create the public folder first mk dir public and then let's create another folder that will hold our styles file mk dir public styles and now we can create the css files touch public styles styles css next touch public styles tailwind css and in tailwind css we have to write three lines of code so tail tailwind base tailwind components and tailwind utilities of course we have to add semicolon to work and we are almost there now we need to go back in our index.pack file and link our css file let's do link href styles styles CSS, styles, let's keep the codes consistent and finally we have to add one command to the package.json to build the css files from tailwind let's go back to our package.json file and add a new script so we have build css and we use post css styles tailwind css public styles styles.css and of course i forgot public here as well now every time we add tailwind classes to our project we run this script to generate these styles so let's see if it works let's run npm 
run build CSS. If we go to styles, we can see the Tailwind code. This is all generated by Tailwind CSS. Actually, let's run our application and let's see if we can see any change. So node index.js so far no change let's try to add some tailwind classes to see if it works so let's add text 6xl and then margin top 12 let's see if it works you can see the text is modified however we don't have the margin we set so let's see why this is wrong so let's build the css again and yes you can see we have Tailwind with Node.js, with Express and with Pug. This is it. If you enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you.